Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a book review and it is on a book I am very excited about because it took me a whole year to find it out again. I got into chapters like a year ago and I found this book that seemed really cool um, and all I could remember about, about it because I didn't purchase it at the time was that it was about a girl who had a bit of cancer and she, she, she sees a ship in the sky and then she gets taken to another world in the ship in the sky. That's all I could remember about it, and I didn't purchase it at the time, and I instantly regretted it because I've been searching for it ever since, and um, I just had, like, too many books that day, so I, like, we didn't want to purchase it, and I have been looking for it everywhere. Every time I go back to chapters, I, like, try to browse for it or something, but I could never remember the name of it. I don't remember who it's by. I was just like, I don't know. It seems really cool, and then I could never find it. Fast forward to a year from now, which was, like, a week ago or like a year from then, which is like a week ago, I went to chapters and I wasn't looking for it. I was just like giving up. I was like, I'm just going to search the young adult section, see what's there. I didn't really find anything I liked. So I was just leaving the section and I saw this book and it was like glistening and it was like shiny in the front. And I was like, oh, that looks really cool. Let me see what it is. And it was the book that I've been looking for for a full year. I'm super excited. So I read it and it is called Magonia and it is by Maria Devana Cudley and it is pretty freaking cool so i'm glad i found it i'm glad i read it um it's really cool so i will go over the whole synopsis of it um it was about a girl who had actually a mysterious lung disease no one could figure out what she suffers from she has like a whole disease named after her because she's the only one in the world who has this disease where she can't like breathe and they thought she wasn't going to survive until <clears throat> you know 10 and then 15 and now she's going to almost be 16. i think she might die soon um, so she, like, always has to go to the hospital and stuff like that. She has a best friend named Jason, um, and he's, like, really, like, there for her and stuff like that, and you think they're gonna, be, like, fall in love and stuff, and she, all of a sudden, she sees a ship in the sky, and everyone chalks up to her being, like, hallucinating from her meds and stuff, um, but she's, like, con concerned, and she's, like, I have seen this ship in the sky, like, it's what's happening, um, and all of a sudden these birds start to, like, hover over her, and she just sees, like, lots of birds, like, she looks at her window one day, and there's, like, 50, 50 different types of birds on her lawn, like, owls, and mockingbirds, and hummingbirds, and stuff like that. Everything is on her lawn. Anyways, what happens is she got, does get taken to this ship in the sky, and in that, in the world above Earth, or in the sky, is called Magonia, and the ship's name is, like, Ammonia, um, Minya, Perennium, I'm not really sure what the ship is called, but it's like, there's like, ships, like all these ships, not just a ship, but all these ships in the sky, there's like, shark things in the sky that like, make like, it rain and stuff so no one can see the ships, it's really cool, um, it's kind of weird how she gets there, I'm not going to spoil that part, um, but so she goes to this ship in the sky, and, um, there's like these bird people on the ship. That's what kind of confused me. I would love to see, like, it on, like, the big screen and how it comes to life. But there's, like, bird people. And there's also, like, with every person who is on the ship, they have, like, a little bird living inside of them. It's not really a spoiler. Um, it's something to do with this. It doesn't have anything to do with the story, really. But, um, yeah, you have, over your heart, you have, like, a cage and, like, these birds fly out. And they, you, they sing with you. And... With, through your voice you can make them do you can do stuff like so um she was trying to train to just be like a basic mate on the ship and she was like learned how to like mop without actually mopping like she would sing a song and it would mop for her it's really cool um so there's other characters on the um ship there's like um day um he's this like guy who's like supposed to be her partner in, in terms of a singing partner and then there's like, captain zal and stuff anyways she comes to find out that she has like this role to play in Magonia and she's supposed to help find um this almost like sustainable food source for Magonia because Magonia and the ships they tend to like steal crops and stuff from earth that's what the plot is um the plot is also that the fact that she misses her family and she wants to go find them and she will almost like it seems like her and Jason will, will, would be together and stuff like that but she, like, starts to, like, like living in Magonia. And that it's really cool for what she's doing. It is such a cool book. It is, like, a really cool theory, too. And, like, 
it uses like almost like history and not really history I'm not sure if it's real or not but it seems like it uses like a lot of like backstory and stuff of why Magonia is like this her best friend Jason like he delves into it before she even gets to Magonia like oh this is could be why you're seeing things and stuff like that and kind of comes up with the fact of Magonia even before she knows it exists um which I really think it was really cool um the relationship she has were really believable um I love um most of love Jason so it, it flips also between as a race um, perspective that's the main character and Jason's perspective back on earth um and it's really cool to see it from both perspectives because um Jason is in love with her but he's also like interested in the whole ship and Magonia and stuff as well which I find really interesting as well he wasn't like obsessed with her but he likes to like find out what happened to her but he likes history and finding stuff out and I think it's really cool um the whole world of Magonia just seems amazing um there is going to be a sequel to it which I didn't even know going into it but it, there is it's called Airy. it comes out in the fall though I was really sad I was like damn it now I have to wait for another one to come out um and it I hope it explores more of Magonia and what else is in Magonia there's like a whole like capital is Magonia and they have rules and stuff in Magonia I keep saying Magonia not even like a word anymore but there is um rules and stuff you're supposed to follow and some of the ships break it and stuff in the book so I want to see more of like the actual rulers and the different pirates and different like sailors and stuff on the ship versus just what you see in Amenia or whatever the ship is called that um Azurae is on um yeah it was like a really good cool interesting book it was kind of confusing in terms of trying to picture the bird people as well as um what Azurae gets transformed as when she goes um to Magonia because it's not like human um it's a cool concept, and it's a cool concept in terms of there's like other things called like breaths as well as like skin. So it sounds really gross, and it kind of is, but it's really cool. I just, it's a really cool fantasy novel, and it's it's tiny, so it's an easy read. I mean, we're talking about three days, three days to finish it, only because I do have school, not school, I do have work and stuff, um, and um, it. It's a little not a little heavy, but it's just, it's kind of confusing for to read in one sitting in terms of, again, the bird people. I'm just focusing on the bird people because it's hard to imagine it. But um, overall, I really like the book. I'm excited for Airy and we're just see where it goes and if um, where we'll, we'll get to go in Magonia um, and all the villains and stuff will come back and stuff. So um, I really do like it overall. I'd probably give it about a three and a half to four out of five on Goodreads, um, and I'm happy that I found it. I mostly gave it like four stars because I'm just really happy that I found it, but um, it's like a three and a half out of five. It's a really good book. It's a solid book, and I'm excited for the uh, sequel to it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.